Okay, season four of our Manchester United career mode. So this season, we're probably going to see some of the biggest changes in this series. We, of course, once again, have new kits, which I do think look a lot better than the last season's kits. And there are some pretty big player departures this season. One be Ronaldo, he's retired. And also another one that might come as a slight surprise. If you guys are excited, then drop me a like down below. And we are now only 5,000 subs away from 100K. So hit that sub button down below if you have not. All right, first comment, look at the free agents as most good players have retired. Also, they would be good for squad depth. Yeah, we have found a few regens, which we're for sure going to look to sign, I think, two, which we'll touch upon a little bit later, I think. And then I'm feeling like defenders don't get enough credit in this series. Basically saying we should give them a category in the season awards as best defender. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I think we're going to add that as our fourth award, best defender of the season. Because yeah, I do think we need to give the defenders a little bit more recognition. And last, maybe you should sell in important players because important players leave all the time from big clubs just to make it more interesting and fresh. Yeah, this season, the squad is going to get refreshed. That is for sure. Okay, we all know a strong defense is very, very important. We got defenders like Rafael Varane, and then we got defenders like Harry Maguire. We all know which defender we'd rather have. And that is why I'm excited to partner with Aura, the sponsor of this video, aka the Rafael Varane of digital security. Now, Aura provides identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, an antivirus software, and password manager all wrapped into one easy to use app. Now, you might have one of these services already, but it's kind of like having Harry Maguire. You know, he's there, but is he doing the best job possible? Um, no. And Aura can fix that problem for you. Plus, you can sign up for a free two week trial to test it out yourself. Aura monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, social security number, and they send fast alerts right to your email or phone. Or it also gives you real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries. Their VPN allows you to stay anonymous online by keeping your history and personal information safe and encrypted. Now, Aura found my personal information on the dark web five times. Like, you don't really realize how common it is for, like, passwords, personal information to get leaked out to the dark web. And if you set up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link so you can see for yourself how many times Aura can find your personal information on the dark web or even a family member's. When you sign up, let me know in the comments how many times Aura found your information on the dark web. So don't put yourself at risk. You can start your free two-week trial over at aura.com slash tyster and once again thanks to aura for sponsoring this video so right off the bat that's the new home kit i would say it's pretty nice it's nicer than the, the last season one i think but i really like the awake kit and the third kit which we're gonna show later on i think those look insanely good but okay we're gonna do a little squad refresh here so first thing david de gea we gave him a minus two downgrade because i think last season he was good but i don't think he was 91 rated good and he is transfer listed now i'm not sure if we're gonna sell him but i am thinking about it like heavily thinking about it um Svilar is here he'll be a third choice maybe second choice backup keeper i think he got a plus four upgrade to 78. I feel like he deserves that. And then Molassi, Nori, perfect left back, starter and backup. Um, Vran Martinez, of course, starter still. Uh, Leo is going to be third choice or actually fourth choice. Harry Maguire. I think it's time we finally let go of Harry Maguire. I think this team really needs a refresh and I think he's probably one of the main men to leave. So uh, Harold, you actually weren't bad last season. You know, I think last season he played well enough to where a big team might want to try and sign him. So we'll see. Um, right back, Brandon James and the backup is going to be Timber. CDM, Casemiro, backups, Timber, of course. And also we have Sasa Gurdjic back, one of our youth players, which he's 78 rated. He's actually looks he actually looks pretty decent good 86 physical so i think this season he might actually get some game time and of course neves bruno donny all pretty much staying we got horton back who of course the next david beckham he's now 77 rated i want to try and find him some game time and i think i know how which we'll talk about that in a second um Iqbal, i feel like he's just not really good enough so we might gonna try to sell him i think um mejbri might actually give him a chance because he actually looks decent he might stay of course sancho madeira mejbri pretty decent cam uh depth right there and then garnacho layout anthony ramirez and then marcus rashford two big departures ronaldo he retired and then son he wanted to leave manchester united he was done with england so as you saw he decided to join psg for 120 million pounds i mean he scored the goal to basically win us the prem in season two so he will forever be a legend in the series but literally our highest rated player is gone and also pogba's back in the prem that's interesting so replacing son is going to be an interesting challenge although there is a way where i don't think we need to necessarily replace him because we've played the 4 2 for now three seasons in a row I think it's time we uh, freshen up the formation too. I am thinking about trying trying this pretty much a two striker diamond midfield with uh, Rashford, Anthony up top, Sancho at camp, and then Bruno, Casemiro, and Neves all in the midfield together. Something we've never tried. And then we'd have Malassia and then Brandon James bombing down the wings, uh, joining the attack. Like I feel like it's gonna be so hard to replace Son and Ronaldo. Like what if we don't replace them? We just change the system to fit the players we have. This could epically fail. We're gonna try it in this episode. It could epically fail, but we're gonna try it at least. Cause I mean on paper it doesn't doesn't look that bad. All right, so we're already gonna make our first signing here. We got. Ed Edmon Luna, he's a regen that we gave a real face to. I didn't touch his rating. All I did was give him a real face. So I don't know what his rating is, but I'm pretty sure looking at his stats, it's it's pretty decent, like mid 70s. So I mean, as a backup keeper, I feel like he's pretty much perfect. And I don't want him to get signed by a different team. So Edmon, I need you to join Manchester United. Damn, he's already kind of balled around the corners. I really gave a 21 year old a balding face. Is going to be maybe our third choice. Maybe him and Zvilar can battle it out for second choice. Now, what is the rating? I'm guessing it's going to be 70. 
76. I'm gonna guess 76. Oh, 78. Hey, that, that's actually not bad. That's the same rating as Svilar. We didn't even upgrade Luna. Okay, you know what? That's that's really not bad. Plus, he is younger than Svilar. Interesting, but he looks decent though. Okay, first transfer offer for De Gea already from Juventus for 54.4 million. Man, I actually like David De Gea so much, but I do feel like I, I've used him a lot this year. Like we had him in the Credit Club series. We had him in two Manchester United series. I feel like that's one spot that really could use a refresh, the keeper spot, and we might actually sell De Gea. I'm thinking about that goal that got us knocked out of the Champions League at the near post like De Gea. I mean, it was a tough one, but would another keeper would have stopped that shot? I don't know. 65 million. They want 59.7. You know what? We're going to accept that. De Gea might be going to Juventus. Oh yeah. By the way, did you see our transfer budget? We got 800 million to spend. Like what? Talk about a huge budget. 800 million. That's almost, that's almost a billion. Okay. Leipzig while Maguire. I mean, Leipzig, I feel like that doesn't make sense. I want to get a team that actually makes sense. I kind of want to send him to the Prem so we can still see how he does and maybe face him. That would be hilarious. Oh, David De Gea does not want to go to Juventus. Okay. That is very interesting. That might change things if he doesn't want to move. Move. He just he just loves Manchester apparently. Okay, now Southampton want De Gea. I mean, if he rejected Juventus, why would he go to Southampton? That doesn't make much sense. I mean, you know what? We'll do it. See if he accepts it. I don't know. Okay, Chelsea want Maguire. You know what? That's probably the most realistic thing because weren't didn't they weren't they interested in him for like a second? It was like rumored. We're just gonna accept that Maguire might be on his way to Chelsea. Now that is uh that is a weird one. And Harry Maguire has actually gone to Chelsea. That was quick, Harry. I thought we had a friendship enough where you could like take your time. But Harold Maguire, Sir Harry Maguire, has finally been sold. And then Bayern want. De Gea? That's a team I think makes sense. I mean, Neuer has got to be, what, like 38 years old by now? So I don't want uh, Montiel, I don't think. So just straight up cash. If he rejects that, he really doesn't want to go anywhere. But okay, Harold Maguire, we need a replacement for him. Now, out of all the center back targets we've had, I feel like the most linked is Pau Torres. Like, I haven't heard Tap Soba being linked at all. IRL, like, I've heard of Pau Torres being linked. Like, apparently his agents were negotiating a contract already with United this past window, but it didn't work out. He decided to stay at Villarreal. And I feel like Tap Soba, he would be not much better than Leo Cox. So I kind of feel like Pau Torres, it's a, it, it's a considerable upgrade on Maguire. And it's a very reliable third choice. So I think I'd rather go with Pau Torres. Mainly because he's been linked more uh, IRL than Tap Soba. So 82.5, they want 115. This is going to be expensive. Thankfully, we got 800 million. So we are good 105 million 115 they're being stingy here give me 110 give me a win here just give me a negotiating win to feel better about myself 110 million thank you and it's interesting because Pau torres he's like 6 3 martinez is 5 10 they're not too far in rating where if we play a Pau torres what if he's so much better than martinez just due to height alone like i know martinez is good in real life despite the height but fifa does it translate like are we better off starting Pau torres i don't know they're gonna fight it out for that starting spot so Pau torres is going to be signed up our second signing of season four is going to be Pau torres from juventus harold you have been replaced so he'll take a uh, hair mcguire's number five shirt pretty much uh re exactly replaces him now i'm just curious if de gea is actually gonna accept that deal or not oh he's actually accepted it de gea has left to bayern munich okay david man that kind of hurts i really like david de gea but i think we need a refresh so it makes sense and varan you are not going to wolves i'm sorry no so we need a new starting goalkeeper right now so to me we got four options we got manyan we got onana we got courtois and we also have Koble from dortmund obviously we got uh pros and cons here some are younger like Koble, but are lower rated some are higher rated like courtois but also older. I feel like Kurzweil, you know, if you want a new challenge, I feel like him going United this far into the future kind of, it could happen. Plus, I don't think I've ever even signed Kurzweil in a series at all. So we're going to think about that. I might do a vote on my community tab for you guys to help me decide out of these four, because I'm curious who, who you guys would rather pick. So we might, we might wait on that. All right, so I don't think we're done with transfers yet, but we got the community shield against uh, Liverpool to play. So we're going to test out the 4-1-2-1-2. And like I said before about Horton getting him game time with this formation, I mean, Horton, Donny, they're going to play a lot because we got two midfield spots now. So it's more chances for them to play. Also, my Madeira can play in the midfield. And then we got Ramirez can play Cam. Garnacho can play up top. He's got 86 finishing. Leal obviously can play at striker too. So on paper, I feel like this, this does suit us pretty well. I just don't know if it'll work. We're about to find out. And also a lot of you guys ask what sliders we play on. So once again, competitor mode on, player base difficulty on. And then for user, only thing changed is injury and marking injury, 92, 20, and then marking 55. We have raised this from last year. I think it was on 87 in season three. I feel like I, we still need to see more injuries. I feel like we don't get enough. So that's the same for the CPU and user. And then CPU, sprint speed, acceleration, 55. Not error, 18. Pass error, one injury marking the same goalkeeper on 70 and then their first touch is all the way down to eight so yeah these sliders are what i would call insane all right so we're going to reveal the awaken the third kit in the next game so this one's all about trying this new formation i think i want to start pal torres give him his debut and then let's do horton for neves i want to give him a start as well and then for now svilar will start at the keeper spot although we're going to sign a keeper i just think we might do a poll for that on my community tab for let's let you guys help decide it's crazy that we played the same exact formation for three seasons like i think it was definitely it was due time for a switch i really like the way this one works i've never i've never really used it in fifa though like i don't know if it'll translate if it does though it would allow us to play pretty much everyone i feel like a lot of game time 
time, so I hope it works. First game though, Liverpool. This might be a might be a tough one. It might not. We'll see. I think it's our first time though playing Bruno, Casemiro, and Neves all in the midfield together. Well, I guess this time it's Horton actually, not Neves. You know what I mean though? Like we got a CDM and then two box to boxes instead of just one. Okay, Diaz, Diaz, stop, Diaz. He's a madman. He's an absolute madman. Look at his dribbling. What am I supposed to do with that? Pal Torres. Pal Torres. That's a great challenge, though. I did not think he was going to get that. He actually did. So our attacking width is, like, way higher, too, because, of course, I feel like we're very narrow. So I feel like our width has to be changed. Okay, Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez could be going number one. It's going to be blocked. It's going to be out to Molassia. See how 40 is? Our fullbacks are way forward. Get that to Horton. Okay, this chance is a little bit ruined. Rashford, get that to Sancho. Sancho. Dink it to... Oh, what a ball. What a save, though. Oh, that was Horton, too. Okay, the attack. It doesn't look too bad. Brandon James cross in. Varane is there. That's going to be cleared, though. All right, head that. Get it to Anthony. This is Anthony's spot. Whoa, that was not the volley I expected. Brandon James to Bruno. Slide that to Horton. Horton. Get it to Brandon James. He's going to shoot, and it's going to get blocked. Yeah, so our fullbacks are going to bomb forward. Casemiro is set to stay back. So when we're in possession, we kind of go to like a three at the back a little bit, which could be bad, could be good. We are gonna, we're going to find out. So far, it actually looks not bad. Like Sancho is drifting everywhere, playing like uh, the facilitator. And Anthony Rashford, if we, can get a, if we can get a partnership going here up top, it will be beautiful. And that's goal number one scored. Rashford scores the first goal of the post-Ronaldo era, which that's something I haven't talked about either. We're going to talk about that later on, I think. The whole Ronaldo situation, if you know, you know. But hey, that was pretty good. Anthony, Rashford combining there. That is exactly what I want to see. All right, Casemiro, get that to Horton. Horton's actually a pretty good cam, so I feel like having him in that side midfielder, like going forward, I don't think we'll suffer too much. We won't miss Sun or a left winger as much, if you know what I mean. Bruno Fernandez, what about Marcus Rashford? We got runners at the far post. I think he's going to be offside. Okay, that was not the right decision. That was a horrible one. Rashford gets it to Bruno, though. Bruno shot. It's going to be blocked by Trent. Yeah, we should have done much better with that. Now, this is the only issue. Our fullback's bombing forward. We're going to be a little bit open at the back if they get by us. Send it to Guendouzi. Guendouzi. I thought he was going to pass it. He is going to pass it. It's going to go to Merino. He's going to shoot. And Svila, a good save. Sancho, good ball to Charlie Horton. Horton, we got Rashford. Horton. What a ball from the next David Beckham to Rashford. Think it. Oh, oh, it's off the crossbar. That would have been so clean if we scored that. I am going to be so upset. For the longest of times that we did not score that. Okay, Salah, stop. Salah, you need to stop. Salah, Salah. Okay, that was right to Pau Torres. That wasn't too difficult. Casemiro, good steal. Last season, it was not a starter. This season, it could be a starter. We'll see. All right, Rashford. Anthony was going to be free there. Rashford, I don't like any of these passes. And once again, the hesitancy has ruined the chance. I mean, here's a better look at the home kit, though. I think it's definitely better than uh, than last season's home kit. Last season was kind of weird. This one definitely looks more like more like a Manchester United kit. Got like the red collar. It's I like it. It looks nice. Although still, the away kit and third kit are my favorites, I think. All right, Bruno is going on the run of his lifetime. We're going to shoot, and it's going to go right to the keeper. Okay, that was bad. All right, Pau Torres, the big moment for you. He stays strong there, at least. And Casemiro. Casemiro, that was a great touch. It at least uh, slowed down their attack, but it's not going to slow down that much. Pau Torres, good spot, good interception. He is looking pretty sharp on his debut. All right, Brandon James, we got a cross to Rashford, I believe, at the far post. Oh, Brandon James, what a cross. It is going to be cleared, though. Casemiro, great steal. Get it to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez, shot. Allison is going to grab that like a madman. Okay, they're looking a little twitchy right now. They're looking very... Oh, how did he get by me there? That's so unfortunate. Oh, it's going to be a goal. Man, how am I supposed to stop that? Uh, Pellegrini just came on, I think, scores. Like, how am I supposed to stop Diaz here? It's just glued to his feet. Like, like you can't you can't stop that. All right, this is 1-1. I think our last two community shields have been penalties. This might go the same way. Sancho, get that to Rashford. Get that to Anthony. Anthony, what do we got here, Anthony? Anthony goes by Van Dyke. Oh, Simikas gets a good foot in, though. Oh, Brandon James with the press. I like it. Bruno, get it to Anthony. We got space here, Anthony. Anthony, oh, why was that shot so delayed? He took so long to shoot that. All right, Charles. Charles Horton coming forward. Horton, get it to Anthony. Anthony, ding to Sancho. Oh, that was going to be so clean. Allison didn't even come out for that. It was just a like a desperate defensive play. Man, that should have been a goal. Bruno wins that back. We've had like no chance to make subs. We don't need subs. Rashford, get it to Anthony. Anthony, I need a good turn. Oh, man, it's just strength right there by uh, Luis Felipe. All right, someone's injured. I'm not sure who, but Anthony, it's not one of our players. I don't think Anthony, get it to Horton. Horton. The next David Beckham's going to shoot. It's going to be so blocked. Once again, I press shoot, and he takes so long to shoot. Now look at these numbers. Oh, no, we can't concede a last-minute winner. We can't do it. Oh, we're going to do it. Oh, we are really going to do it. It's like the same goal where they play a through ball, and I just can't block it. I mean, maybe our fullbacks shouldn't be on get forward so much. Like, maybe we don't need that. I don't know. I just hate conceding this one type of goal. I hate it so much. Okay, subs on, although we have, like, no... We have no much time here. Garnacho is just going to sprint from kickoff. Garnacho. You got fresh legs. Oh, he's got really fresh legs. Arnacho. Arnacho. 
All the way, maybe. No, we had one extra two touches. Bro, I've seen so many like delayed shots and bad bad touches from us this game. To be fair, he just came on. I just wanted like one more clean touch and I was going to shoot. Oh, we are going to lose community shield. I don't think the formation failed. I don't think we need Brandon James and Malassia to bomb forward like that. So maybe we should put him on balance instead. We probably wouldn't concede. Bad goal if we did that. So I think that's what we'll change. So it wasn't a success, but also wasn't a complete failure, I don't think. All right, so back to some of our old targets here. There is still Jude Bellingham we could sign, although I don't think he'd, I don't think he'd start. I think the only way I would sign Jude Bellingham is if we sold Neves. I feel like that'd be a like-for-like-ish replacement, where that's the only way I'd want to do that. And I'm not sure if I want to give up Neves. I, I really like Neves in this team. Because we're not going to sign Drew to be on the bench, and we plus it would uh, take Horton's spot, which we don't want that. It would have to be to replace someone. And then with Son and Ronaldo gone, we're kind of down an attacker. I mean, Ramirez comes up to be a winger. But we kind of don't have a, an out-and-out -out backup striker. We have Leao could play there, but he's like a backup winger too. We only have Rashford, the only striker, the designated striker on our squad. And one person I was thinking about is Cody Gakpo. Obviously linked a lot in real life he's 6'2 he's got he's got great pace he's got decent jumping ish decent strength but he's got 90 finishing though so he can definitely play striker also i think ivan tony would be a great option too i wonder what his rating is though we're gonna scout him my only issue with that is we do have something uh something planned which if you know you know so i think we're gonna hold off on that for now for the first short term at least okay already first game of the season we face leads again this is like a repeat of season one okay definitely i don't think we need molassia to get forward like like be designated to join the attack every time because i think that's why we conceded that last goal so we're gonna put him on balance see how that changes things but I do feel like this is this is potential being so good. So we're going to try it again against Leeds. Okay, away kit in our third kit. Of course, home kit, you've seen it before. But that is our new away kit. Which, if you ask me, that does look pretty clean. Like a navy blue and white kind of theme. I feel like we really haven't had like a navy kit in this series. So it does look so nice. But the third kit has got some like flavor to it. It's like a, I don't even know what we call it, that cream color. And then it's got like a green, orange, and yellow design on the front. That looks so clean. Like I think that might be my favorite kit this year. Of course, home game though, we got to wear the, the normal home kit. Okay, let's try the 41212 this time with the regular starters though okay the post Ronaldo era officially starts in the prem obviously Svilar's in goal he's gonna be replaced by a new keeper but he's playing this game first game of the season new formation new system we'll see if we can beat Leeds again to start the season I'm pretty sure last year we started against Leeds away and in season one we played them too like we've started a lot against Leeds like we literally beat them last year to win the title on the last day it's funny we faced them again but Brandon James wins that back and Sancho it's a heavy touch okay that was supposed to go to Brandon James not Rashford it still goes to him though Okay, Brandon James, dink to Rashford. Actually, beautiful dink. Okay, that's going to be handball. Oh, it's going to be handball on Rashford? I didn't think I was Rashford. That's unfortunate. I thought it was on them. Casemiro, great steal. The man is feeling rejuvenated. He's given a chance to start again, and he is enjoying it. Sancho to Anthony. Anthony, get that back to Sancho. Sancho, get that to Neves. Into Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, long shot from Bruno. It's going to be over the net. I believe Bruno's got like 93 long shots. That's why whenever he gets the ball, I feel like he's going to score. All right, Sancho, this could be a good spot. Sancho away from last year. I don't like that pass, though. Gonna go to Bruno. Bruno into Anthony. Anthony. Good touch and good save by their keeper. Corner in. It's gonna be it's gonna be Casemiro. That was a great header, actually. Come on, early goal. I need to see it. I need to see this early goal. Anthony. Anthony. Flip it up to someone. Oh, there's so many people there. It's gonna be Neves. Volley attempt. We have to shoot that. It didn't exactly work though. Alright, Casemiro. Where's the pass at? There's like no option here. Okay, let's go all the way back. We need to like pull them out of the box. Sancho to Casemiro. Get that to Anthony. Anthony, good touch. Anthony shot. It's gonna be deflected again. And that's going to be cleared. Okay, Sancho seals that back. We are pressing a lot to start this game. Anthony, Anthony. Okay, what was that attempted pass? Neves to Brandon James. See, he gets forward when uh, when he needs to. That's to go to Sancho. And that was just a horrible attack. I feel like I'm playing so bad right now. Like, hey, we need to wake up a bit. Why are we playing like this? Like, the chances are there. We're just not really getting them. We're not executing on them. Okay, um, that was a kind of a weird situation. Brandon James was out of position. And then instead of trying to, like, uh, get back, he went towards the top of the box. I'm not sure what that's about. He should be trying to get back. He always usually just tries to get back in formation. Hey, okay, Leeds are putting us under some pressure right now. Malassia, I hate that move. That move always, always does me. That is going to be out. Oh, get it out, please. That was awkward. Once again, I'm not sure why Bruno is the farthest player out here, but I guess this is why. Because he's got to pass to Sancho, maybe. Oh, what a ball by Bruno Fernandez. Sancho. Sancho is going to shoot, and he's going to score. That ball by Bruno Fernandez was disgusting. And there it is, 1-0. Like, this pass, oh, that's just, it just hit perfectly. Bruno, good ball to Rashford. Anthony, Anthony. Oh, Rashford is going to turn him easily. Rashford, oh, that should have been a goal right there. See, we're looking good. It's, the attacks, they're not, we're not executing per perfectly. Okay, what kind of clearance is that? Short corner to Mr. Anthony, $100 million man. Lay it off for Ruben Neves. Oh, what a goal by Ruben Neves. That is what he is capable of. All right, there it is. 2-0. We're looking better. We're looking a little bit better. Anthony just slides this slowly into Neves. And Neves, first time shot. Left foot in off the crossbar. Disgusting. All right, I like the way we ended that first half. Let's uh, try to keep it up. Sancho to Anthony. I feel like Anthony's... Oh, man. I don't know how we still got that to Rashford, but we got it to him. 
All right, wait for Malasia. Malasia cross in. Anthony's there. Anthony's there. And what a save by the keeper. And we still can't score it. Anthony falls over again. How did we not, not score that? Oh, Bruno. Bruno has hit the splits. Okay, now they're going to play back to their keeper. He's going to do that. What is happening? Get that to someone. Someone please score. How have we not scored now? All those mistakes. And they still escape without getting a third. Casemiro, great steal. Anthony gets that to Bruno. Get it back to Anthony. Anthony needs space. Needs space. Anthony. Oh, quick play to Sancho. Oh, he's going to be just offside. He's going he's gonna to miss the chance, too. I'm going to tell Anthony to drift wide. I feel like he's a little bit too much central, so we're going to tell him to uh, drift wide. We're going to see if that helps Anthony get uh, get going a little bit. Okay, uh, Martinez. Martinez, where are you? I don't know where Martinez is. Okay, Svilar, what a save. Bro, the CPU scores this chance nine times out of ten. Somehow, Svilar, though, saves this one. What a save. And that is going to be just easily cleared by Sancho or Anthony. What a weird clearance or weird corner. I don't even know what I'm saying. Sancho, Malasia, wait for Bruno. Okay, that was awkward. It's going to go to Ra Ashford. We got... Okay, no, that was supposed to go to Neves. That is not the pass that I wanted. Whoa, we got a lot of people in their box. We're going to win that, though. Rashford's going to win that. Anthony, okay, you're not really wide, but you are going to shoot this. And Anthony, okay, get the rebound. Okay, Anthony's having the most awkward chances right now of all time. Still have not scored the third, though. Rashford, okay, now Anthony, chance to score. Anthony, take your time, and he will score it. Okay, 3-0. The system change has worked in this game, I think. At least it hasn't It hasn't hampered our last season performance, I don't think. I mean, Anthony cuts inside. He's just basically free-roaming as a center forward. I mean, if it works, it works. As long as he keeps scoring, I think uh, him as striker up top of Rashford, I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll be bad. All right, Donny on for Neves, and then Leao is on for uh, Marcus Rashford. Okay, man, there's a lot of space for Leao here. Rafael Leao. He's got the power and the strength. Finish it, please. Okay, that was great defending right there. That dude was glued to us. All right, can do the same thing as before. It's not going to be Neves, though. Who's going to shoot this? It's going to be Jaden Sancho, and that's going to be skied into the stands. All right, Donny down the middle to Bruno. Okay, whoa, what a challenge. Leao's going to keep it, though. Leao to Anthony. Anthony, it's not the greatest turn. To the Donald, though. Donny, oh, it's so awkward. Somehow he still scores that, though. I thought the pass to Leao was so off. Donny still scores it. Once again, with this formation, I think Donny, Horton, they're all going to get more chances to play, which is a good thing. Especially Donny. Donny deserves to play more. Oh, Malassia, great challenge. He's in the middle for some reason. We got Anthony. I think we, oh, no, that was supposed to go to Anthony. That's such a mess pass, a misplaced pass. Okay, Rafael Leao, here is your chance to score. He is going to score. All right, 5-0. Not a bad game for the back-to-back -back defending Premier League champions. All right, Sancho off for the next Messi, Ramirez. Ramirez is only 17 still. The dude is so young. We've had him for like two seasons. He's still 17 years old. And that is going to be full-time. So 5-0, a hey, post-Ronaldo era begins with a very uh, commanding win. And proof that this system can work. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Harry Maguire for Chelsea earned Team of the Week. Can you actually believe that? When we face Chelsea, it's going to be hilarious. Harry Maguire, Team of the Week, what? But okay, so we need to decide on a goalkeeper. There's going to be a poll in my community tab. It's going to have all four of these keepers and you guys are going to help me decide. Do we go for a younger option like Kobo? Do we go for a mid-tier option like Manyan or Onana? Or do we go for the best possible option and that is Courtois? I think we might take off Onana because I feel like he's only 85 rated. I feel like Manyan is is like a clearly better option here than him. So it's going to be these three, Mignon, Courtois, and Koble. We got a young option, we got a mid-tier option, then we got the, the the high option, I would say. So you guys go vote in that poll. I don't know about Bellingham or Gakpo because we do have some plans. I feel like Bellingham, we'd have to sell Neves. I wouldn't do that unless you guys, like, everyone wanted that. Like, I'd have to be a big response in the comments saying we want to sell Neves for Bellingham. And then uh, Cody Gakpo, I would like to sign. We still could, but it would get pretty crowded in the attacker, the attacking section. Because we got some plans in the next episode. I know you guys probably think, like, where is he? We are going to reveal the Ronaldo CR7 regen in the next episode. And it's not going to be your typical regen, you know if you know. But I'm serious. This might be one of the best regens I've ever seen. I mean, just a little preview. Look at the man's pace at 19 years old. And also, of course, 92 finishing. All I'm saying is don't miss the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, drop a like. Any suggestions, the comments down below, of course. Um, hit that sub button. We're trying to reach 100,000 subs. We're only 5k away now. And that is it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.